it's Melissa and I'm here to do a new series that I'm gonna call love it like it or leave it and basically I'm gonna review one product at a time they're gonna be like a five minute or less video and I'm gonna tell you whether I love it I like it or should have left it at the drugstore so I hope you guys like this and if there's any products that you want to see me review specifically let me know in the comment section below if I have it I'll review it if not I'll try to get my hands on it so I can let you know what my thoughts are on it so the first product I'm gonna review is a new product out there I've never seen it and it was in its own display when I was at Ulta and this is the Rimmel stay matte liquid mousse, mousse foundation and it looks like this in this tube so this was on display actually with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, which is not new. I didn't see any difference in it, so I didn't get that. I just got this, and this retails for, hold on, this retails for $4.99, but in the display they had a dollar off coupon making it $3.99, and then I had an Ulta coupon that I used to get it, so I spent even less than that, which is not a bad price for this. First impressions. I um, When I first saw it there, I thought it was really small. I didn't think it was a lot, but it is actually one fluid ounce, which is the same as um, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. It's just different packaging. So most foundations are one fluid ounce, so this isn't anything different than that. My second concern when I first saw this was, unlike the glass jars that you see in the drugstore, this is totally you can't see it you don't know what color is in here and all you have to go by is this color on here which is like colored material it's not so you don't know how true to the color it is that's inside that's always the problem i find with drugstore foundations is you just don't know how it's going to look you can't test it you know what i mean so i picked up true ivy it's number 103 and um it's a little bit dark for me right now. I can work with it, but it's it's okay. It's not the right color. Maybe I should have gone a color lighter, but I don't know if that would have been too pale. It's just so hard when they're packaged like this and you can't see. So this is um, a squeeze tube, comes out like this. It has a pretty big opening. It's bigger than the Rimmel BB Cream. So pretty decent amount comes out and you don't need a lot. I already have foundation on, so I'm just showing you. So it comes out like that. Now, um, it says it's a liquid mousse, and it kind of is moussey. It's kind of airy feeling. It doesn't feel like a liquid foundation. It does have a little bit more of an airy feeling. And the one thing I noticed was there's kind of little particles in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of got these little particles. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. But um, I'll get to that in a minute. So it blends really easily. I have applied this using my fingers, a brush, and um, my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And all of them, they apply it fine. It's, it's pretty blendable. The one thing I noticed right away when I put this on is it has a smell to it. It's got like a really chemical, like plasticky kind of smell, which I notice it as I'm putting it on. I don't notice it as I'm wearing it, but when I take it out of the packaging and start putting it on, it's definitely like an odor. So if you're someone who does not like odors, I wouldn't recommend it because it, it is pretty potent, I would say. So it blends in really easily. Um, and so the claim on this is Feather Light Liquid Mousse blends flawlessly for natural looking all day shine control. Silky smooth formula leaves a perfectly matte baby soft finish. Lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy. And I have to say, I think it lives up to these claims. It was, um, it's pretty lightweight. It's just the odor that bothers me, but it is pretty lightweight. I do find that it's matte. I didn't get greasy or oily, but I'm not someone who tends to anyway, so I'm not the best judge for that. It had good staying power. I tried this both by itself and using um, the Rimmel primer underneath it, and it stayed in place. I didn't get shiny. It had a matte finish to it. The one thing I noticed, which has I mentioned those particles before, they almost turned to like a powder finish, so I found like in between my eyebrows it would almost look like I had to put a powder there which I don't I don't wear powder so it, that was kind of weird to me but I didn't mind it and I would say it has a maybe like a light to medium coverage I think you can build it to a good medium coverage but it is pretty light and um, 
it is, has that airiness to it with it being a mousse. So all in all, I would say that I do really like this product. I don't know if I love it um, because of the chemical smell and because of that weird powderness, but I would recommend this to someone if they're looking for a matte foundation and they don't want to spend a lot of money. So for me, the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation was definitely a like and I would recommend it. I hope you guys like this kind of series. Again, if there's something you want me to review, leave your comments below and I will. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.